The government tomorrow will announce rules that pressure lenders to make mortgage payments more affordable for those at risk of default. Meanwhile, a government agency, the Federal Housing Administration, has been propping up the housing market by insuring nearly half of all new mortgages. But it's not without risk. Here's Hari Srinivasan. New York City bus driver Stephen Mitchell is two months behind on his mortgage payments, a mortgage guaranteed by Uncle Sam and at risk of foreclosure. It is embarrassing to be, you know, to lose your home. Mitchell's home loan is insured by the Federal Housing Administration, or FHA. When his brother and a friend who were helping pay the $3,200 monthly mortgage lost their jobs, making payments became tough. As long as everybody was doing a part, yeah, it could have been done. Mitchell's home is one of five and a half million purchases or refinances currently insured by the FHA. In total, those loans are worth $696 billion. The problem is, eight and a half percent of these loans are at least 90 days delinquent or in foreclosure proceedings. I call it FHA Insurance Armageddon. Gary Lacefield used to be an investigator for the Department of Housing and Urban Development, FHA's parent agency. I believe sometime in the next 15 to 18 months that you're going to see a major hit on the FHA insurance fund. The question is, how much of a hit? The FHA recently disclosed that future projected losses could leave it with only $4 billion in reserves. That's less than the 2% minimum Congress requires. Could it get worse? It absolutely could, and that's what we have to be prepared for. Since David Stevens took over in July, the FHA has tightened standards. We look at every institution that underwrites loans using FHA mortgages. We look at them on a monthly basis. But because loans are hard to get elsewhere, the FHA's sheer volume of loans has quadrupled in the past three years. There are 3,000 more FHA authorized lenders than there were in 2006. And the FHA has fewer than 200 people to check those lenders and review loan applications. Fraud investigator Gary Lacefield is surprised certain lenders with borrower default rates as high as 20 percent are still doing FHA business. As of right now, these companies are still active, originating loans, which is, which is pretty scary. The FHA has pulled the plug on some problem lenders, and federal prosecutors are suing one of the fastest growing ones, Lend America, which aggressively marketed its services with TV ads that looked like a newscast. Lend America is making home loans available immediately to refinance up to 97 and three quarters percent of a home's value. Prosecutors say Lend America repeatedly invented borrowers' income information to close loans. The company declined to comment to CBS News, but its attorney told a federal judge the most recent alleged fraud occurred 15 months ago, and the firm has since revamped from top to bottom. We're going to make certain that Lend America and every other lender in America behave according to the standards that we expect. If they don't, they will be out of the system. In order to stay in his FHA-insured home, Stephen Mitchell is seeking refinancing again and a lower monthly mortgage payment. I'm a fighter, I'm not gonna give up. And he hopes to avoid becoming another FHA foreclosure statistic. Hari Srinivasan, CBS News, New York.